Hey, it's Steve with Prima Coffee here. Today I want to take a look at a new espresso brewer called the Nomad. Now this is a fully manual, portable size espresso maker. Basically the kind of thing that you want, might want to take camping or you know if you're going on a road trip or something like that. Um, maybe you've got an RV and you want to stick something like this in there. It is a compact, fairly portable espresso maker, and it is a true espresso maker. So despite, you know, it, it might kind of look like a toy, this is an actual espresso machine. It can hit nine bars of pressure and it can produce some really good shots of espresso. Um, so what's really unique about this design, obviously, like I said, it's a manual machine and it uses this sort of seesaw-like pump to pump the water. Um, there's a sort of a priming tube and things in here, you know, a lot of great engineering went into this and using this, uh, as I'll show you later, you can pull nine bars of pressure, you can get a really great shot of espresso, and again, it's just compact and fairly portable design. So, in addition to this uh, pump lever, we have a reservoir here, so we just have this cap. Um, you get about 300 fill, uh, 350 milliliters of water. Um, we do recommend preheating this, so if you're going to use it, put some hot water through it first, um, pump it out the, the basket, and then refill it with fresh hot water just so everything's nice and warm. Um, we got our brewing group up here. Uh, there's a handle, like a locking handle, that allows you to remove this tray. So we have a 49 millimeter basket. Um, this is a, a proprietary basket. We haven't tested, but you can probably use something like a Lapaboni or maybe even an Electra basket, other 49 millimeter style baskets, as long as you put this gasket in underneath them. Um, that's important just so it has a nice mating surface with this uh, plastic tray below it. Now you notice there's a little screen in here held in by a tiny screw. This is basically the exit path. And then we also have this valve. This is basically a, a crema valve or a, a pressurization mechanism basically um, that will froth the coffee. So like let's say you don't have a perfect grind size or maybe you've got some channeling. This will help produce you know a, a fairly decent coffee foam uh, much like a pressurized portafilter would. But for the sake of this video I'm actually going to take this off and we're just going to use the bare hole here. And then finally we have just the overall holding tray. This is just what slides in and locks into the machine. And then there's a little exit spout right here. So to assemble it, you put your white plastic tray in, your basket into that tray. And then I'm going to go ahead and load up my coffee here. I've got 16 grams of coffee in this convenient little dosing funnel. Um, so I'm just going to load that up. Give this guy a little tap to settle. So the basket, as, as a 49 millimeter basket, it is a little bit smaller. If you've seen our La Pavoni video, we talk about the capacity of, of that. So it's around 15 to 16 grams. This is 16, as I said. It can probably hit maybe 17 with certain coffees, but you're probably not gonna see those like 18 to 20 gram doses that you might see on larger commercial espresso machines or that sort of thing. I'm just gonna clean up my stray grinds here load up and lock in. You'll also notice I have a pressure valve on top. That'll be important in a moment as I'm brewing. But I'm going to put in some freshly boiled hot water. I preheated right before uh, we started this video, so we're still pretty warm, but ideally you'll do it right before you brew. I'll put the cap right back on. I've got my cup here. And then I'm just going to start kind of pumping. And you'll see the pressure gauge on top is going to start to build. And it's getting a little bit harder to pump, but you're gonna to start to see some nice crema forming. I'm gonna actually taper off my pressure here. I wanna keep it in that sort of green range between eight and 10 bars. And you can change your pumping speed to kind of keep it in a certain place. And then I'm just gonna let it taper off as my shot finishes up. And we got, again, we, we took out that crema valve, so we have a pretty decent uh, shot with a decent uh, head of crema here. This is a lighter roast coffee, so this, you know, kind of lighter um, crema is to be expected. Um, and really the only thing here is the crema is a little bit light because there's kind of a, a longer brew path in it. There might be in uh, a more traditional style portafilter. So there is a little bit of reduction in crema, but it's nonetheless tasty shot of espresso. So we've been really happy with the quality results that come out of this. Um, in terms of the shot flavor and what you're able to do with kind of modulating your pressure. You can do a little bit of pressure profiling with this. It's a little bit tricky, but just, you know, kind of getting used to how you pump that sort of seesaw handle. Um, 
but it can be done. It's, uh, it's not too difficult to, say, do a softer pre-infusion stage at about four bars here on the dial and then ramp it up to maybe eight and then kind of taper it back if you like. Um, you can obviously play with your grind size as well. Um, and that, uh, that basket is a traditional style, you know, just sort of open bottom basket. So you're able to tamp it as normal. It's not a pressurized basket. You can treat it as a normal basket. Um, so again, just a lot of really great features packed into this little small portable device. Um, again, great for taking on the road or like an RV or maybe, um, you know, college dorm sort of situation. All you need is access to a grinder. Hand grinder would be perfect. Um, and some hot water and you're ready to go. So that is the Nomad Espresso Machine. Thank you for watching.